You know, as we begin the season, the number one team in our News 4 Jack Super 10 poll was the only team in our area to go undefeated throughout last season. Bartram Trail. Tonight, the Bears open the schedule against their rivals from Creekside. This is a game that always has a lot of energy in the stands, but because of the pandemic, only 600 fans were allowed in the stadium. To Creekside we go. Bartram Trail in the white, Creekside in the black. And uh, game delayed by rain. Fans waiting in their car just before kickoff. Hands head back in. Opening kickoff. Maxwell Robinson will bring it back for Creekside. And he takes it 61 yards. There he goes. Breaking tackles along the way. Finally spun down and Creekside would capitalize off the good field position. Preston Stroke plunges into the end zone to give Creekside a 7-0 lead. Stroke with three touchdowns in the first half. Later in the first quarter, Bartram Trail gives to A.J. Jones. This is one of the top players in the area. Had a big season last year, looking to capitalize on it this year. 63 yards for a touchdown. That tied the game at seven. And this one, with some of the delays, right now in the fourth quarter, still going on. Creekside holding on to a 33-28 lead. Ponte Vedra at Nice. Fans socially distanced in the stands. Panthers led it 10-0 at halftime. Second half, they go to Gabe Olson. Gives it to Dom Henry, who slices through the defense. Nice gain here for the Panthers. Sharks defense trying to keep the Panthers from scoring any more points. And they got some pressure here. Get a sack on third down. We get another rivalry game. We had a bunch of rivalry games to start the season here. Then on third down, the Sharks able to bust through the line to get to Olsen again. Sacks on back-to-back -back plays. It's all a little defense there. Final score in this one. All Sharks, 24-7. TV with the victory. Another great rivalry game to start the season. Bulls against Trinity Christian. For years, these two schools didn't play one another, largely because they were in different classifications, and Corky Rogers uh, really likes to play schedule, like to, to have scheduled teams at higher classifications when picking out of district games. But when the schools were in the same district, it really made those games must see for high school football fans. And by the way, they're both expected to be good this year. Bulls begin the season ranked number two in our poll. Trinity. Number three, to Hammond Boulevard we go. And Bulls in the white, Trinity Christian in the black. This would be a fairly one-sided affair. Bulls taking the field. First quarter, Cade Frew takes the handoff. And there he goes, 37 yards. He showed the speed, and he's got some power to go with it. Later that drive, 50 seconds left in the first. Gunnar Borey, the quarterback, passes to Justin Payan on fourth and two. Gets the first down and the touchdown to put Bulls up 7-0. Second quarter, big play alert. Borey hooks up with Davis Ellis behind the defense. 76 yards for the touchdown. Bulls up 14-0. With a minute 49 to play in the second quarter. Punt team is out there for Trinity Christian. Bad snap. And it goes out of the back of the end zone for a safety. So Bulls is up 16 to zip. Just before halftime, Bulls back on offense. And once again, it's Borey to Ellis. This time, Ellis gets it down at the one-yard line. Frew on the very next play would punch it in. Bulls dominating tonight in this one, 36-12. to Bulldogs with the win. Episcopal at Kenny, another rivalry game. Rain coming down heavy at BK. 7 o'clock start was delayed. Eagles coach Mark Brunell and Crusaders coach Tim Krause discussing the start time. Finally got it going at 8.35. Eagles with the ball first. And Urshad J.C. takes a toss and heads around the end. He's hit. Ball comes loose. Kenny with the recovery deep in Episcopal territory. Three plays later, Connor Murphy on to attempt the 40-yard field goal. And this one would be good. Right through there. 3-0 lead. Kenny with the lead on the banks of the St. Johns River. Ensuing Eagles possession of the Kenny 40. Kirk Reed right up the gut, spinning and breaking tackles. Finally dragged down at the Kenny 21 after a gain of 19 yards. Two plays later, Tucker Tomberlin with some play action finds Cayman Clark on the slant 15-yard touchdown. Episcopal takes a 7-3 lead, and they are rolling right now. Mark Brunel's team leads a 35-3 in the third quarter of this rivalry game. Well, we have so many other games to uh, take a look at coming up. More highlights from the area, including a check-in with the Senators. Fletcher hosting Parker. We'll have the highlights as Football Friday rolls on.